Okay, thanks for stopping by. This is the first of a series where we looked at new and improved features in ArtRage 4. Today we're going to look at the toolbox. Okay, I already have some reference images. Uh, well, one reference image over here, and this is a tracing image. And we're going to make use of these. Uh, we don't need to trace for normal colors, so we're going to get rid of that. And we're, let's start talking about the toolbox. Now, the toolbox panel, which I shall open up. No sense in talking about something. You can't see it, right? Right? Okay. Toolbox panel. Now, this panel is where you can place any tools and colors and things you need for a, spe for a specific painting. So it doesn't apply across the board but you can reload this wherever you want. So this way you have everything you need you're going to be working with here. You don't need all these other panels open. Okay, so you can remove a lot of uh, things that you don't want to see. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is get some color samples going. So I'm going to go here, click Add Sample, and this is uh, that area there. Now I'm going to go down a little bit lower. I actually want a little bit white. Click Add Sample. Okay. So this is going to be the color range I'm going to be dealing with, that I want to deal with uh, when I do this drawing. Okay. Alright, so that's it. It's as simple as that to add color samples. All right, now let's uh, talk about layers. Now, I can also save layers in here. So what I'm going to do, make this a little bit easier. Is I'm going to number the layers so you can see exactly how specific this is. So I'm creating some new layers. Okay, so now I have my, my layers that I want. Now let's uh, say I want to save layer two. And maybe that's something I want to keep coming back to um, that I want to use in, 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 uh, in the document. So I want to have easy access to it. So that'll be my, my base layer. Okay, so I'm going to right click and look for add to toolbox. And we'll call this two. This is just a label, it doesn't change anything like if I named this here it wouldn't change it wouldn't change the layer name okay so I have layer 2 okay now I can also load the tracing image so let me just get back here uh, keep that on okay so I can also load the tracing image. Now before I do that, I want to make a change to it so you can see that it also saves the settings. So I'm going to do manual scale. And I'm going to change the opacity to about 80. Make that a little darker. Okay. Okay, now that I have the tracing image set the way I want, I can add that also to the toolbox. And I'll leave that as, I'll call this the trace elephant. Okay, so there it is. Now also I can add my reference image. So I will right click on this, bring up add to toolbox, and I'll call that my ref element. So if he ever wants to referee a game, he has a title. And there is my reference element. So I'm adding all these in the beginning. This is good because the whole purpose of this is to set this all up so you can get rid of all the other panels. So you do this all in the beginning. So you pretty much have to be very organized and know what you want to do. Okay, so now this also works for stencils. So let's say I have a stencil I want to use. So let's say a traditional French curve. 
and right click add the toolbox and I'll just leave that as French curve no need to change it and I'll just click on that to get rid of it and also I can click on it to bring it back when I need it okay so pretty good pretty good uh, so now I've added uh, my layers, my reference, my stencils, and my colors. Uh, also, if I have any scraps, uh, I can add that. Uh, but that's this is going to do for now. So now to show you this in action, uh, let me save my file first. And now let me open up another one. Okay, looting, looting, looting. Yeah, this is a work in progress. It's going to be a beauty, isn't it? Okay, but as you can see, everything in the toolbox disappeared because, again, it's related to that specific uh, drawing. So now I'm going to go back and open up the file I had open. Okay, so now everything's there that I had saved. Okay, so now. I have everything here, so I'm going to get rid of everything else. I make those smaller. Get rid of that. Okay, so now I just have this here. Uh, so let's say I'm on layer one, and I want to get to layer two real quickly because maybe I have a lot of layers. So I'll just select it here, and it's automatically selected. And I can start uh, painting on layer two, as you can see here, just pops up. Okay. So, and also I have my reference element. So again, if this is closed, I click on it and it reappears. Click on it to make it disappear. When I want my French curve, there it is. Uh, I select my color, it's automatically selected there, so then when, whatever tool I'm using will have that color. So it's all right there, very handy to be used. Okay, so let's say you want to remove something from the toolbox. So Windows, this will be all in Max, and, and on the Mac will be Option, click. So option click here and that item's gone. All right, so that's the way to remove something from the toolbox. So that is it for today. So thank you for stopping by. Remember to rate, share, and subscribe. And go out and just create.